Okay, please you um, tell me your name and, um, and your... Um, uh, I'm Adrian Yearn and I am the Senior Technical Support Engineer at Fluke Networks in Everett, Washington State. Okay, I know your conference is about the common mistakes in installing or checking the, the, the network. Uh, could you tell us a little bit uh, what are these common mistakes in, in, in this work? Most of the mistakes are actually caused by the fact that the people that are doing the testing uh, typically aren't trained and all they need to all they know how to do is just to test and save and so when you look at the common mistakes is mainly setup issues uh, not setting the correct test limit but there's also other errors that can happen which is bad cable arriving on site and there are ways to actually verify the cable is okay before you install it it's great at the end when you certify it and you find out, well, this is bad, that's too late because at that stage you've got to replace all that cable, which is just almost impractical. So I'm going to be talking about the stuff that you can do up front to stop those mistakes from happening. Okay, how uh, do you see the Latin American market for in, in this environment? Uh, I mean, in terms of reducing the mistakes. Uh, one of the big key factors we've seen, and we've actually done this in our new product, is to allow the tester to be configured in advance. So the, the expert within the company, the project manager, can set up the cable IDs, set up the test limits, and actually control the job within the tester. So when the technician goes to do the testing, they can just pull up the project and it will tell them what they're testing and what limit to test to. Okay, and um, let's make this in terms of money. How much it means uh, uh, these common mistakes in the in the market? Okay, so I'll give an example of a recent installer that I'm dealing with at the moment. Um, they didn't check the copper cable before it was installed, and unfortunately, the copper cable was not good. He is looking at around about fifty thousand dollars in cost in replacing that cable, both in material but more importantly in labour. And where it gets really expensive is when there's time penalties on the contract. I'm dealing with one at the moment where it's $25,000 a day going over the time projected. Oh, so that's a lot of money anyway. It can, it can destroy a company. It can actually destroy a company. You really need to sit down, do your homework, and, and make sure you really understand the best way to do this. Well, um, how is your relationship uh, best practices to avoid these mistakes? Sorry, say the question again. Uh, yeah. How do you um, teach or spread the best practices? So I've just written a training course, it's a two-day training course and it's got 14 big CCCs that just been approved and we have partners that deliver that and get that message out there which shows them how to set up the test and avoid those common mistakes. Um, I also, when I have time, is record YouTube videos and talk about uh, the common set of issues that people see. And of course, I'm here, I'm constantly presenting. Uh, I mean, I've done big C uh, Philippines, Singapore, Orlando. I'm, I'm constantly talking to people to say, look, there is a better way of doing this. All right, thank you so much. Okay, thank you.